In this video I'm going to show you how I install Chirp on Linux Mint. I'm going to go to the menu, go to all applications, and we're going to look for your software manager. So we'll open our software manager. In the top right hand corner we're going to type in chirp. Let it search. Okay, it found it. We're going to double click it. And this is a free open source tool for programming your amateur radio. It supports a large number of manufacturers and models, as well as provides a way to interface with multiple data sources and formats. And it's currently got 4.2 stars, which is kind of funny. Uh, Chirp is a great program, period. And now it's available on, it's been available for a while on Linux, so it's a good thing all around top right hand corner we're going to click install once it's installed you'll see in the top right hand corner uh, launch and it's also where you can remove uh, programs if you needed to remove them in the future so um, before we click launch though there's something that you've got to do and you're going to go down here to your menu again and we're going to go down to users and groups and we'll click on users and groups it's going to ask me for my passcode. Click on the user. And right here in groups, we're going to click on that. And this window will open. And right here, we need to click on dial out for this to work. Now, I'm also going to click on Bluetooth. And I'm going to click on audio. But you only need dial out to be clicked for um, chirp to work i i'm going to go ahead and activate bluetooth and audio while i'm in here but just to get it to work for chirp you will need to click dial out then you say okay and you're done and if you'd like you can open the window again and just make sure that it remembered that say okay you can x out and now we're ready to launch. And it's going to say error reporting is enabled. If you wish to disable this feature, you may do so in the help menu. So Chirp's asking you to report errors at the moment, but you can turn that off. That's all they're telling you. So you're going to say OK. And here it is. Here's Chirp. Okay. After you fully installed Chirp, don't forget to reboot the computer. Uh, and you can do that just by restarting it. And uh, you should be good to go. I hope this video helps you.